And uh, before we go into today's chat, uh, let me ask you as well to please send through your voice notes, just telling us about how your plans for today have gone and also what your plans are for later. And that number is 68 We are finding out all there is to know about uh, Careers Magazine today here on a Push Up Under. Their publication targeted at young people at various decision-making stages of their lives and their primary audience is between 18 and 35. And uh, the publication aims to provide mentorship, teach people to navigate workplace dynamics, Dynamics, learn and negotiation skills, network skills, and provide practical advice about things that seem easy but um actually aren't. T- to tell us more, we're joined by our guest on the line, editor Pearl Bushumane Todeti. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. Thank you for making time for us. I just need to understand a few things first, like just around sure. uh, Careers Magazine. Are you guys strictly online or is it a physical publication as well? Well, it's both. Um, okay. just because the rebrand happened under like lockdown and COVID-19, we are digital for now, but we're going to go back to print. And uh, yeah, that's that. And how long have you guys been in existence for? Yeah, it's only, what's this, it's June next. It's yeah. six months. <laughs> so as Careers Magazine, this is our first month, but sure. um, this is actually our sixth edition. Uh, we started the magazine last November, uh, put it together in a ridiculously short amount of time, a team yeah. of three people. And um, yeah, now we're here. Six editions, six months for babies. Uh, shout out to you and your team, man, uh, just for having the vision to, to actually bring something this important to young people, uh, like seeing it to fruition, because this is the difference and the change that young people need. They, they need to have this information and be armed with it to be able to, pre- to proceed forward. So kudos to you guys. Now, let me ask you this. Thank you. Like you were chatting there about some of the changes which you guys had to actually make because of the lockdown. Can you please share those with us? Um, sure. So we started working on our April edition around March. So, you know, traditional magazines were three months ahead. But because we're such a baby and it happened, it was a long-term vision, but it happened really quickly. Um, sure. We work a little bit like month to month. So what happened is we were almost about to go to print with our April edition. The yeah. day before we went to print, uh, the president announced distancing I think and then the printers and the distributors started like easing up in terms of staff so we had nobody to print and more importantly right under level 5 the shops were not taking products that were not essential so magazines were not considered essential which I do understand so we couldn't get into any shops anyway so then that's how we ended up going now for now completely digital and just going on a tangent quickly, like staying on the subject of the lockdown, um, have you guys taken into consideration like the new working conditions and job landscape created obviously by COVID-19 going forward? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So our May edition actually was dealing specifically with that, like uh, pandemic and post-pandemic world of work. And that's what our June edition is about, owning the narrative. So we're speaking to young yeah, South Africans and Africans about what they're doing, what the future looks like for the continent. Instead of letting like a Time magazine tell us what the future of Africa is, it's important that we tell that story ourselves. So the things we do want to delve in is, look, this is these are the opportunities you could possibly have post-COVID because nobody's psychic, right? Um, yeah. it's, it's a guesstimate. We're trying to give you the best possible information that we can with as much research as possible so that people feel inspired and not um, like scared and helpless about, oh my goodness, what can we do after this? Jobs yeah. are being shed left, right and center. It's a bloodbath. And we're just trying to provide at least some sort of sustenance and inspiration that can help push, even if it's just one person, although we're hoping for millions, of course. Um, that can help push somebody in a direction that, that, that they can follow and didn't even think about before. And talking about Careers Magazine answering our questions, what languages is it published in? And um, just before even, you know, like lockdown, how much was the actual publication worth on the street? Like how much could you buy it for? So it was 50 rand. Okay. Which is, you know, not affordable for everybody. Mm. But it was 50 bucks. And for now, it's available in English simply because also we're such a young team and a small team, right? Um, yeah. And as we expand, we need to increase that accessibility, not just financially, but also just information-wise to reach more people. And we're also, um, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this, but we're expanding into broadcasting um, okay. because that's also really important considering the the. Literacy, the literacy rate of South Africa. 
um, you know, there are people, young people who still maybe can't really read, and it's important to find different ways to reach them with information. But in terms of the price point thing, 50 Rand, right, one of the things we're aiming for is to find ways to distribute the magazine to the sure. people who need it the most, um, and maybe have it subsidized or something, but that's all in, in the works. We're doing so much behind the scenes. And talking about uh, uh, getting it subsidized, like I think it's so important. Um, are you able to share any chats and um, progress thereon with government in terms of getting this out there to all the places we need it at? I don't think I'm allowed to share. I think I've already said too much, but um, <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be It's only really you and I. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you and I and your million <laughs> listeners. <laughs> Okay, um, now I just need to ask this question as well. Like just in closing, so currently, like you guys are online. What's the actual URL that people can go and check it out at? And also, I saw on your Twitter stream that you guys do share some information around what's happening online. Please share those handles with us as well. Okay, so um, yeah, because we change handles, we always have to double check. Our website is www.careersmagazine.co.za. You can yeah. actually buy the digital copy, copies of all of our magazines there um, for 50 bucks. We actually have the April and May edition available together as a package deal for 50 okay. Rand because we brought them out at the same time. Sure. Uh, so you head to our website, careersmagazine.co.za. On Twitter, we are at careers underscore mag. And then on Instagram, we're careers mag. And we're on Facebook also as Careers Magazine. We're doing so well on Facebook. I'm so excited. And you can find us on LinkedIn. We're almost everywhere except TikTok. And then are we we able to subscribe to the actual publication online? Yes. Yes, you can. And we're trying to have some like cute little drives where you'll get a discount or you can get a special little gift. You know, you have to entice people. Um, Of course. (laughs) So we're hoping that, you know, subscriptions will take off. I remember when we got... Before we changed our name, we got our first subscriber. It was you know, the biggest celebration. I felt like I'd won the lottery. Just after. imagine, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Thank you so much uh, to Careers Magazine editor Pearl Bushumane today to sharing with us like what uh, the vision is out there at Careers Magazine. So to everyone that heard the handles, please go out there and check it out and also expect them, you know, as soon as the conditions do get better to be out there in the streets as well. Making a young, um, a difference to young people, very, very important. Indeed. Like that's something that Naves and I also need to find our ways, like our way around because we, our story can help to change a young mindset to be the success that it was meant to be.